<laughs> what a spoony bard. So it's obviously sentient if it's trying to, uh... If it's trying to cure itself, it's obviously sentient, so it should, like, not immediately attack us, I guess? It's seasoning. It's definitely sentient. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wanna help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. I think I know how to lift it. folk here convince them to sit at the table with you right well i'm gonna be your guest now your willing guest <laughs> thank you for the chair <laughs> i like it it's cute <laughs> Maybe we should swap spoons because it's no spoon you own. Need to get this right. Words of the curse were Yeah, no spoon you have. Oh, you have though. So swapping Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. So just drink out the bowl. God, can Geralt drink the, uh... So I guess he's immune. He's, like, boosted to toxicity, isn't he? Because he's a witcher. So maybe he can drink it. Yeah, he's gonna say, fuck me, that is not gonna be great. Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. It's like, fuck, I am drunk. Oh, he's fine now, kind of. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given it's... Have I beaten Gaunter twice? He's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, shit, I, I, sorry, I thought that was leading me to the white. Oh, the white did go out here. Oh, jumped through the fountain, apparently. Oh, piss off. Ow. I'm kind of fine with bar guys, bar guys, whatever the fuck they're called, the spooky doggos. You can just like mash attack them. Oh, did a little jump here apparently. Damn, you're ugly. Oh, did some kill. Okay. Sorry, Roach. Kind of left you there a little bit, didn't I? Not 
gonna hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. Don't worry, I got some dumplings. Let's go. Oh wait, no, sorry, you're too heavy, I'm over encumbered. Drops on floor. That was good. That was a good question. So I took her by the hand and let her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. What the fuck is wearing my glasses? I'm deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Though I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Barnabas Basil Fawlty. Basil Fawlty. Oh my God. Major Domo at Corfo Piano. Basil Fawlty. Nice really? To you, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. While I'm gone, please make sure she gets everything she needs. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world. It's the Hearts of Stone music. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But, most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Oh, I guess, look, we're at Corvo Bianco now. We haven't been there yet. So. A place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him oh, to sell the, the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colourful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great-great-great-great-grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut-purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never what hesitated, he not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, Misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. 
he made even more of it, began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. Hmm. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Yeah, let's go look around our vineyard. Why not? Tour Might as well relaxing tour after Christ. that anyway, let me. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical All to right. begin. Hello again, chat. Behavior. How you doing? Give me a, give me a hey guys in the chat. That was a fucking good quest, I enjoyed that. Yeah, Gaunt's theme was awesome. It's pretty good. Basil yeah, Basil Fawlty's from uh, Fawlty Towers. It's like a really famous British show. It's like a sort of like a pop culture icon here. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she yeah, thank you, Banzai, for the sub, man. She signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. <laughs> hey, wind one. Yeah, it's funny, man. <laughs> I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Nah, fuck him. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful. Especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now either. What is making that noise? That was extremely annoying. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Nice well. Not gonna, not gonna mention the dog? Yes, All right. though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a bolus fool for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life no, I'm by jumping into the well. <laughs> the festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? <laughs> Not at all. When he found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and Hell yeah, he I got a cat. Survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Levioda. What a nice vineyard. Follow me, please. Monsieur Bolius's wife, Nina, kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again, planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> He's a cool guy. I like him.
This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Probably shouldn't just steal off myself. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the um, mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it, a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Hmm. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen... Hey, I bought that painting at an auction. Can I use that one? Corfo Bianco That'd be nice. is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest... A Don't I have, like, a pile of money that I never spend? I never buy anything, so... On the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Oh, let's improve the grounds. Got these spacious grounds. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? You know... I might just go to the city after this and see if we can find some side quests, because I'm sure there's more to explore in that city. Time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. How much- oh, I can't check how much money Good. I have. Order me up a table like that. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of money, though. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Just give me everything. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Then send out for one, please. A high-quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Just work on the house. Been paint it, please. Walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oh, saw no such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects Trivia. were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which... Am I doing the Gwent bits? No, I'm not doing Gwent bits in this playthrough. It's I don't spend my money on... Li I literally don't spend my money on anything, so I might as well... I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin... Your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. 
Can I get anything Is else? Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? I think that's it already. That's Bye. all for now, BB. Thanks. How did we spoke for so long about that? It's now the morning. Oops. Wrong option, as always. I want to see my general renovation. Alright. Let's go in the morning. We should be good now. Got like 8 a.m. Nice early start. Yeah, that's better. Everything is less shitty. Except the post outside. But hey, it's less it's less filthy. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Fucking balling now. Let's go weapon rack. Right. There we go. Put my pride and joy. Oh, we should put... I assume that this is like some big part of a set. So I'm going to put that on there. Hang painting. I bought that painting at the auction. I wonder if I can hang it there. Get out of my way, Hinky. Oh, I think I actually could. Ha! <laughs> I can, brilliant. Hey, Starry Knight over the Rhone. I mean the Ponta. Alright, you still just still eating? Okay. Can I do more stuff? Is that a good sword? I can't remember. I think I'm, like, nowhere near high enough level to use that sword, so I might as well hang it up for now. No, that's my iris. Oops. Oh, can I only put one in that? No, no, I can't. Perfect. A pleasure to welcome you once again to the as yet humble confines of Corfo Bianco. When last we met, I oh, did God. Not get the opportunity to present my credentials. With your permission, I shall do so now. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Can we get more stuff? I really like this place. Sorry, I basically just playing Sims now. Refurbish some more. The Witcher 3, Sims being? edition. As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I could make the house more functional. Indeed, momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we finished the general renovations, I don't really need any of that. I guess I'm not really using many of these. Could use a better bed. Nah. I say, well, let's go to the city, see if we can find some more side quests to do. Remember, I have some earth. Not the slightest problem, sir. I am here to serve whenever you desire. Sick. Okay, let's go to the city, see if we can find some more side quests to do. Do you reckon I have a, uh... Oh my goodness, there's people! If my lips don't stink of wine, my wife won't know that women are chaps! The more you beat them, the better they are! The Hunger Game. Oh. Nah. We'll come back to Corvo Bianco in a bit. Of Bokai's kingdom. Maybe we should just do this. I, I, I am actually just gonna, I'm just gonna head to the city, see if we can pick up some uh, side quests. Because I'm sure there'll be stuff to encounter in the city. Can we just. Yeah, we can. Oh, maybe that's the tournament grounds. Okay, good, there's a notice board right next to it. Perfect. 
The bed gives you some buffs if you rest in it. Whatever. Ugh. Alright. Probably got an empty stomach. Oh, dreadful. Nice tune. Have I finished Hearts of Stone? Yes, I have. What's in here? Where am I? Have I just broken into somebody's house? I definitely have. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's go check the notice board. Your boots could use some polish, Vagrant. Fuck you. Master Armour and Beauclair seems, uh, seeks, seems, seeks Brave Man to help recover long lost diagrams. Ooh. Oh, the Brawl Master. Take that. Hmm, that seems like it can only go well. The Trials of the Virtues. Yeah, alright, go on. Knock la vie. Might be worth looking into. Alright, let's have a look. What do we get? I want to do something in the city, though. The cities are fun. Let's go do the fighting, I guess. Do I like House of Stone? Yeah, I loved House of Stone. I actually would say I enjoyed House of Stone a little bit more than I'm enjoying Blood and Wine so far. So this is what I was looking for. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's nice teeth. all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall <laughs> require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size, with the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not, as long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town, a perfect landscape, perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. Oi, oi. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. This seems totally legit and fine. Serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Mm-hmm. Who we, have we met? Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. 
Guess it rings a bell. I'll take free money. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings uh, Halifax account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial. This seems questionable. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Nothing in life is for free. By the way, yeah, if you want to see the yeah, previous parts of this playlist, bank. subscribe to the channel. It's just linked in the uh, Twitch chat. That's where the parts will be going up. I delete the VOD afterwards, so because otherwise people watch it and spoil it for people in the YouTube comments. So I delete the VOD afterwards, but then I upload it day by day, starting today. So there'll be like yesterday's playthrough uh, starting to be uploaded today. So subscribe to my second channel, basically. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Give me that money, boy. Welcome to Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. Oh, God. What is going to happen? Hello, not... Inconspicuous looking man. That was a weird noise for a cat to make. <laughs> I'm afraid Follow I can't it. help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records the account holder is dead. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate oh, the account, you'll need permit 838. For more information, please go to window number one. Okay. Catch twenty two. Nice. Nice vape. Look oh, at this guy. He knows how to live. Yeah, you know it. Ah, oh, you coughed, you little bitch. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. I can help you, sir. I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. <laughs> oh, one small favor? Oh, God. What do you mean, wrong window? I was told I'd get permit A38 here. Please remain calm, sir, or you'll rupture a vein. All right. So just tell me where I get this stupid document. Perhaps upstairs, in records, or downstairs in the archive. You must ask them, sir. Do just that. <laughs> Can't I just, like, axe someone? Give me the money. That'd be a great way to rob banks, actually. <laughs> Cat, help me. Cat, help. Mahakam! You ever had your kneecaps broken? Say it, say it. No, say it. No, God damn it. He doesn't want to say it. He's not playing game. Wait, wait. That's just an advert. What what is with girl and forward rolling downstairs? Yes. You have a concern? What can I do for you? No, I'm not gonna try and get it. I know you're not gonna say it. All I want from you is a you ever had your kneecaps broken. What is it? Ever had your kneecaps oh, broken? Ah, uh, yeah, one did dunderheed. Any chance you could issue me a copy? I love the dwarfs. Fiddlesticks! I've just run out. Wait, really? Of course not. In truth, I've never had anything of the sort. This is the archive. Listen, say I made a small donation. 
to a certain member of the bank's staff. A bribe, sir? How dare you? I truly cannot help it. This is the archive. Oh my god. That'll be all. Thanks. Yes, yes, it's what they always say. And once you're upstairs, do tell them not to send every lost fool with a problem to me. I've worked to do. Call me a fool Damn again, mate. See what happens. Our bank is Shut up. Shut up. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we <laughs> look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your Form 202, please. Uh. Form 202? Just what are you trying to pull? Sir, I'm not pulling anything. Just following procedure. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. Yo, yeah, Kevin, what's up, man? You <laughs> slept to get a bed, you maniac. Up. Why do people challenge the guy with two swords, a crossbow, and who's about fucking eight feet tall to fights all the time? Yeah, he might not be eight feet tall. I was gonna beat the shit out of well, him, fuck it. couldn't really give a crap. You boar, you churl! I will not stand for this! Just you wait, I'll teach you some menace! Go on, hit me. Bitch. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now! Can I just not go outside? Should I just leave him? Make him look like a right dingus? 